I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. myself before I ever kill another Templar. I can't believe it! It worked! It really worked! You flew, Ezio! You flew! See? Not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look. Let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. Must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built these pets of the merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I've checked and rechecked my blood. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, che idea del cazzo! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? Eat rice, eat it air, and things will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? One f you. A dozen. Built all of enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. Ah, my men could do that. But you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry. I will take care of them. I'll give the order of my men moving behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Oh. 
Ugly, he looks familiar. That hood. That there he hood. is, Yajou! Wait. Excellent! 
It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Si. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio.
Ma cos'è? Shoot! Shoot a flying demon! What's that? Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Don't drink that! You are too late. The Doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, Assassin. Forgive me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! <laughs> It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Mr. Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?! Thank <laughs> you. 
Ezio! Dio mio! You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. You've done me good, brother. Ma certo. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... a uh, uh, mutual friends. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district, to the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <coughs> in a way, yes. Sister, and Ezio, you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, about that mask. Marco Barbarigo. 
Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk, whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this, Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriage is till death do us part, and Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hires a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body, and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well, he hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella. Then, a mention meet your friends, eh?
pleasure, signore. Return anytime.